Okay, so we're going to be coming at you with a little bit of a quickie today. What I'm going to be talking about is a CO2 transfer hose. The reason I picked up this one here is because I always have CO2 tanks kicking around and some of the small ones tend to run out a little quicker or just depends on how you're using it. Some run out quicker than others and sometimes you need two at once, like if you're pressurizing a tank for transfer plus purging the bottles or something. Uh, either way, sometimes I like to have more than one tank at a time and sometimes I do not. So, plan with this thing, a CO2 transfer hose is to transfer some CO2 between tanks. For this one, what I definitely recommend is make sure your tanks are stamped properly. This one's upside down in a very not safe way. And also this is probably not the safest thing to do. So when in doubt, get the professionals to do it. Uh, don't do it yourself, but this is what I'm doing. So we will have a look at that. Uh, the CO2 transfer hose, basically got it off Amazon. It was about 60 or 70 bucks. Just has two of the same fittings. One of them has a CO2 purge so that it doesn't become airlocked in there. So yeah, that's the hose, fairly small hose in the middle. And we will hook them up to some tanks, see how it goes. Uh, basically what you want to do, if possible, is to have one tank, the full tank, upside down so that the pressure in it is just pushing the liquid CO2 into the other tank. As soon as you have your smaller tank, you want to make it cold so that when the liquid CO2 gets in there, it doesn't just immediately heat up and become vapor. So we will just hook it up and see how it goes. Seems to me usually about hand tight plus quarter-ish turn does the trick. This one's upside down. Obviously you want to be bracing your tank really well if you're having it upside down. This one has a little guard on it that allows it to stay upside down nicely, but it's still not balance that greatly, and you definitely don't want these things to fall. Let's try to transfer some CO2. First thing, I'm gonna leave this closed and open it up so I can purge a little bit of CO2 out of that so to clear the air from the lines. And now we'll just give it a little bit of purge out of here. And let's see how much CO2 we can actually get into this tank. And as you can see, it is filling up a lot better than it is before. I already have about uh, almost a pound of CO2 in there, which would be good to make this thing useful. So let's see how much it's gonna fill up. I think I'm only gonna put two pounds in this. And that should be good there. And just make sure you're careful with the purge as this thing could get cold. And in case you're wondering why it takes a little longer to purge, it is liquid CO2 in there. When you have the tank upside down, I put it back up right now but the liquid CO2 will take a little bit longer to clear out of there as it's kind of heating up and turning into gas. But the button does get a little bit cold, so yeah, make sure you're using gloves. And that transfer seemed to work good. I got about two pounds into this small tank, so to me, that's a success. As always, make sure your tanks are stamped properly and up to date. You don't want anything exploding in your face, as can happen. Although that explosion that we had before wasn't really related to a tank being out of date. It was just an overfill. But yeah, make sure you don't overfill it. With a quick Google, I did find out that uh, CO2 tanks should be filled to about 68% of its, uh, I guess, volume that's allowed, if that makes sense. Correct me someone if you have a better answer in the comments, but basically fill it 68% uh, for a three and a half pound tank, which is that tiny one I filled. Uh, you should put about 2.4 pounds in it or so. I put about 2. Point, just under 2.2, so that will be good. Got more videos, hopefully more videos coming out. Not gonna be that, uh, that often, but we will try to get more out and I definitely haven't quit and I am still here. So, Party Time Brewing. Also, if you're in the Nova Scotia-ish, maybe even closer to Mount Uniac area, check out Party Time Brewing. Thank you, bye.